Hi there folks and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be chatting about probability. Now, just to remind you, when it comes to probability, just remember what probability is. It is simply explained as the chance or likelihood of something happening. So we're not saying that it is going to happen for 100% certainty, but um, there could be a high probability of it happening uh, in the same way that they predict the weather. And they say, well, there's there's a high chance of rainfall tomorrow or thunder showers or something like that. So with probability, it can be calculated using a formula. And we use the following. We say probability or the actual event. And we take the number of ways the event can occur. Okay, I'm just going to put occurs and we divide that by the total number of possible outcomes. Okay, so we're taking our probability in, in, in other words, in order to calculate our probability, we need to look at the number of ways the event can occur and divide it by the total number of possible outcomes. So if they say to us that we have a bag and that bag has two bananas, three apples, and five pears. And then they say, or ask us the question, well, what is the probability of choosing a banana? So we look at our probability and we say, okay, well, we, we look into find out the probability of choosing a banana. And we need to look at then the number of ways this event occurs. So in other words, with our banana, how many ways? We've only got two, because we've got two bananas. And then we're gonna divide that by the total number of possible outcomes. So we'll take out two, three, and five, and add them together, and that gives us 10. So our probability is a two in 10 chance of that happening. Now, using the exact same formula, they're going to ask, what is the probability of choosing a pair? So we have our probability and it's now going to be a pair. And we need to look at our pairs because we're saying, well, what are the number of ways that the event can occur? So how many ways can this particular event occur? And that would be five out of, and it's again, remember the total number of possible outcomes, two, three, five, that's 10. So my probability here is a, five in 10 chance, it's basically a 50% chance. Okay, so here's another example. They mentioned to us that a dressmaker has 48 white buttons, 39 red buttons, 33 blue buttons, and those are all in a box, okay? Now, if she randomly takes a button from the box, they want us to calculate the probability that it will be blue and then the probability that it won't be white. Okay, so let's use our formula again. We're going to go blue and then again we're looking at the number of ways this event can occur and how many blue buttons are there? 33 and we're going to divide that by the total number of events which works out to 120. Now, they want us to look at the probability of it not being white. So let's write down here, not white. So what we now have to do is we've actually got to add those two together and say, well, we want everything except white. And in this case, there are two other options. So we'll add those two together and we get 72 and it's still out of the total number of events which is 120 and that's how i end up with my probability of not choosing a white button and this one is the probability of me choosing a blue button